Greetings everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life Tarot, thank you so much for tuning in, hope you guys are good and doing well, so this is a general energy reading for the collective, so no matter what sign you are, this reading may have messages for you that may help you in one way or another, so let's jump into this reading, so I'll start with these messages to outline the reading, we have finances and career, it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we have make the effort. It says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and getting to know each other. It says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So finances and career, make the effort and getting to know each other. That's the messages to outline this reading. So I'll lay out the tarot so we could tap into the current energies in this situation. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Do a three card spread. So it's giving us King of Wands, Eight of Wands, and Seven of Swords. Right. So I'll clarify, get some more insight here. Clarify these cards Ace of Pentacles. We've got Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, High Priestess, Queen of Cups. And Ten of Swords. Okay, so this reading, this reading is showing a new beginning here, a new phase. Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like what I'm getting here is a situation where you are going to be starting a new chapter here with someone yeah they are coming they're coming in quick eight of wands you're about to hear from this person yeah we've got make the effort getting to know each other so yeah you have someone coming to make the effort with you they want to get to know you they want to open up to you here they want a new beginning a new chapter with you this is brand new energy. This person's coming in new, whoever this is. I am getting that this is someone that you're not dealing with. We've got a Ten of Swords here. I'm getting that this is someone that you're not dealing with. You stop dealing with this person. I really feel like, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting this is a, a empath and narcissist paradigm. We've got the High Priestess here, Queen of Cups. This is an empath and narcissist paradigm. I feel like for those of you that was dealing with a narcissist, then this is what it is. They're coming back. Yeah. This is someone you stopped dealing with. You may have cut this person out here. Queen of Swords. I feel like, you know, you've got boundaries in this situation with this person. Whoever this person is, you've set up boundaries. For some of you, you may have actually cut them out. Stop dealing with them, stop talking to them, silent treatment, you name it. You know, you've just abandoned the situation and you're focused on moving forward. Yeah, you're not going back to the past. And this is the issue because this is, yeah, this I'm picking up this is someone that you've left behind. This is, and they feel defeated, Ten of Swords. This person feels hurt. They actually feel hurt. But I feel like... Uh, this person doesn't want to lose you. This is what I'm saying. They they don't want to lose you here. Completely. To somebody else. I feel like they have been watching you. Seven of Swords. This person has been watching you. They're spying on you here. They're spying in you. I feel like you are valuable to this person. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you are someone that's really valuable to this person. This is someone that does not want to lose you. They're, they're, they're coming to win you back. This person wants to win you back in their life. I feel like you're someone that's valuable to them because they're, they're watching you. This person stalks you. This is what I'm getting. Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person may even have other people stalking you, gang stalking you. This person stalks the hell out of you. I feel like even if you cut this person out, even if you even if you have stopped dealing with this person, 
they they never went anywhere. This person been watching you. Yeah, I'm getting this person is obsessed. They're obsessed with you here. Eight of Wands, King of Wands. You could be dealing with someone that's got fire in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But yeah, they are obsessed with you here. There's a strong chemistry and passion for you. Yeah, this person's not letting you go. They're coming back. They're coming to attempt. They're going to come and make an attempt here to win you back somehow, some way. They're coming with a big offer as well. They're coming in big, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This person's really going to come and make the effort. They're going to come and give you their all, it looks like. This person wants to really pour into you. This is what I'm getting. They're, they're going to do something here to get your attention. I feel like, yeah, getting to know each other. This person's going to really open up here. And I'm getting, you know, with the Seven of Swords energy, this is uh, this person's being strategic here. I feel like this person's using tactics to get you, to get your attention during this time here. Because you've cut this person out. You, I feel like... There's not much communication between you and this person. You don't give this person the time of day. There's a ten of swords here, so this is like over for you. For some, for some of you, it's like you really moved on. This person is trying to get your attention. They're going to come in and open up here. Yeah, it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This person is going to reveal their, their, their feelings for you. This is where the Six of Pentacles comes in. This is this person is going to reciprocate the feelings in this situation. They're going to come and balance out this situation by reciprocating their feelings or reciprocating the truth. Reveal some truth here to bring in some balance here. Yeah, they're going to pour. They this person is going to pour out their heart. I feel. And I feel like, you know what, I feel like this person knows that someone like you, Queen of Cups, High Priestess Energy, you're someone that's very, you know, loving and kind-hearted. And this person knows, you know, to get your attention, to get through to you or to, uh, to get you to talk to them again, they know they're going to have to be vulnerable. This is what I'm getting because you're dealing with a narcissist here. This is someone that's got a big ego. And I feel like that may have been the issue in the past. This is why things didn't go well with you and this person in the past. Yeah, I feel like this person, this time round, this person, they may be willing to, it looks like they're willing to sacrifice their ego in, a, in, a, in a, an attempt to win you back. This person is going to be vulnerable here. They may be emotionally vulnerable with you and tell you how they feel, express their feelings for you, express the truth here. That this person knows that's the best way to get through to you right now. This person, they sussed you out because they've been watching you. This is someone that's been watching you, studying you. I'm getting, yeah. They know that you're only interested in dealing with the truth and the facts of the matter. They're going to have to come come towards you with some sort of truth. Be ready to, to be honest with you and be vulnerable. This person knows they're going to have to like really drop their ego for a bit in this situation. So it looks like this is, their, this is what they're going to do. I feel like, you know what I'm getting? This person's willing to do what it takes at this point. Because they are absolutely devastated at this point. Ten of Swords. This person's really down and out without you in their life. They really miss you. Because, you know, I feel like you are so valuable to this person. I feel like your absence is making this person realise how special you are to them, how valuable you are. This person needs you more than you know, I feel. They must do. If they're willing to drop their ego, they must do. <laughs> they must... They must... Uh, really value you, you know, you are so valuable to this person, because they're going to really make the effort here, this person's really going to make the effort this time round, and so it's going to be brand new, this person is coming coming in brand new, this person's willing to do anything to stop you from moving on, I feel like this person, this is their fear, because they're watching you, and I feel like I'm getting this person will be damned if they will sit there and watch you, 
move on and be happy with somebody else. This person will be damned if they just sit there and continue to just watch you move on with your life. And be happy with someone else. It's devastating as it is. This person is crushed that you're actually moving on and leaving them behind. So to see you be happy with someone else, this person will just absolutely lose it, I feel. This per it will just send this person off. They will just lose their head, I feel. I, I feel like, you know, this person, they can't live and, you know, see, live and see, sit there and watch, watch you be with somebody else. This is why they come to make the effort. And they're going to do and say anything. They come with a big offer here. This person's going to sweep you off your feet. I can see. Yeah, they're coming in to sweep you off your feet here. They're going to spend money on you. This person wants to spoil you, take you on dates, maybe buy you expensive gifts. You know, they really want to um, tempt you here. This is someone that wants to tempt you to, to stay with them. But the thing is, I feel like, you know, I am getting that this situation can't be trusted, though. And you know it as well, because you know what you're dealing with here. High Priestess, Queen of Swords... Yeah, you're not stupid. I feel like you have a very strong intuition here. This is what I'm getting. You are someone that's spiritually gifted. You know, I feel like you've actually outgrown this person spiritually. On a spiritual level, you have outgrown this person, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, you have mastered self-love at this point. This is why they feel defeated. I feel like you have defeated a narcissist. Yeah, by the power of self-love. This is what I'm getting. The power of self-love. You have defeated this narcissist here. Yeah, they've actually you've broken them down. Just by the power of self-love. Just by loving yourself. Yeah. this. I feel like you've changed in this situation. For some of you, I feel like maybe this person... <laughs> They're coming to tempt you. Maybe they're, they're coming to test your boundaries at this point. Maybe they don't believe that you've changed. This person could be very arrogant. Maybe they feel like you still got little feelings for them and they can tempt you and get you back just like that. They're coming to test you here for some of you. This person's coming to test your boundaries. This person's got a big ego. They think that they can get you back just like that. Yeah, they're going to come and give you an offer you can't refuse, sweep you off your feet. Love bomb you here. Come and test you. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, bottom of the deck. Got the page of cups. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Communication is coming in. I feel like, you know, this person's going to open up and express their feelings. Page of cups. A lot of feelings here. This person's going to be vulnerable. They're going to try and be emotionally vulnerable here to get you to talk to them. Yeah. They may come with a sob story here, you know. They may come in, like, playing the victim, you know, to get you to feel sorry for them. They may, you know, they may tell you, you know, what they've been going through and how how hard it's been on them, you know. Try and pull on your heartstrings here. Yeah, play the victim and, you know, get you to open up as well. Yeah, this person, <laughs> this person's going to use some tactics here to get your attention. Yeah, oh my God, the devil, yeah. My gosh, this person is using tactics. This person is obsessed with you. This person is obsessed with you. The obsessions, this obsession has turned up. It's increased. This person, I'm telling you, they are stalking you. This person stalks you here. They are heavily obsessed with you. They watch you all the time. Either on social media or... You know, if they know where you live, if you live local, same neighbourhood, community, this person stalks your home. They have other people stalking you as well in your neighbourhood. This is serious. This person's serious. But this is what I'm saying. I feel like this is why this person can't be trusted. They're using tactics here. Because this person really wants to stop you from moving on. This is the, the this is the... The intentions here is to stop you from moving on and being with someone else. But the deceit, this person is not going to tell you the truth about their situation. This person is attached to someone else. They've got a third party situation. This is a third party situation. This person is going to uh, try and make you think that they're single. 
I feel like that's what the deceit is. This person is going to want you to be committed to them and make you feel like they are single and you're their one and only. But that's not the truth. That's not the truth. This person is still attached to an, a, another situation here. But they know that you don't want to hear that, <laughs> you know? So they're not going to tell you that, you know? This person is going to say anything to, to keep you, you know, where they want you here, but tied and stuck to them. I don't know if this person, I feel like this person, they may want you to wait for them. Maybe this is their tactics to get you to wait for them. Maybe they are trying to release a third party situation, but they haven't done it yet. But in the meantime, you're just moving forward quickly. This person feels like they're going to lose you. So they want you to, they want to tie you to them, to hold you, make to make you wait until they figure out their life and figure out their situation here. This is their, this is, this is what it is. Yeah, this person has selfish intentions here. I mean, I, I feel like they are trying to put themselves first in this situation, but they're acting out of fear here. This is a desperate attempt here to hold on to you. Yeah, because this person is scared of losing you. They feel you leaving them behind. Yeah, we've got temperance in reverse. This person, this is what I'm saying. This person, they're losing patience. This is what I'm saying. This is like a desperate attempt here. To hold on to you. To make you wait. To stop you from moving on. They're losing patience. Temperance in reverse. There's a lack of balance here. The situation is not balanced. This person is not balanced, but they, they, they're not waiting. They don't want to wait. This is what I'm saying. This person, this person, I'm getting this person will be damned if they sit there and wait, you know, and watch you move on with your life and move be with someone else. They're not waiting for that. They're not waiting. They're, they're, they're coming in. Yeah, five of swords. This person feels defeated. I feel like you and this person is going to clash. Yeah, there's a conflict here. You and this person is going to clash. Because uh, I feel like they are going to try and force you to be with them. They're going to tempt you. Come and vote. Not force you, but, you know, their their approach is. They're going to be love bombing you here. I don't know. I feel like you, you and this person are not on the same page. You're not on the same wavelength here. Yeah, because I feel like you're high priestess, you're intuitive. You can see right through this person. Yeah, they're trying to test you. This is they're trying to test your boundaries here, test your faith. We've got the star in reverse. It's like this person's trying to test your faith. They're trying to test you, test your boundaries. You know, they're trying to tempt you here. It's like the devil coming to tempt you here. Yeah. So you can, you, I know you're going to use your, your discernment. You're not stupid. You see right through this person at this point. This is what I'm getting, high priestess. You have strong intuition. So you are going to have your boundaries up. I feel like this isn't something you're going to rush into. Yeah, four of cups. Yeah, they're turning things around. They're turning things around. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're single. This is, this is why they're jealous. They know that you're single, you're a good catch, you're very attractive out here as well, you're doing good for yourself. You are someone that wants real love. You want real love. This is probably why you cut this person out, they play too much games. Yeah, the hermit, yeah, they're coming out of hermit mode. This person, I'm getting that this person, they're not really following their inner, inner guidance here or their inner wisdom. In the situation, this is someone that follows their ego. This is this, yeah. This is this person's got a big ego here. Yeah, they're rushing in, they're holding on to you. Four of Pentacles, yeah. This person's not letting you go. This person's very possessive, they want to possess you and have you tied and bound to them. This person's very possessive when it comes to you, they feel like you belong to them. Page of Wands, more messages. This is what I'm saying. Ace of Wands. This person wants to sleep with you. There's a lot of attraction here in chemistry. <laughs> this person, you know what? This person may be after one thing. They, you know, they may they may try to manipulate you to feel like they, you know, that they they want a relationship with you. They may just be after one thing during this time because I'm telling you, this person, they're attached to someone else. They want to sleep with you, but they're sleeping with someone else. 
but they're not going to tell you that. We've got the devil here. This person, for some of you, this person may be bi bisexual. They like both men and women. They may not tell you that either. But yeah, this is someone that's promiscuous. They're promiscuous. And I feel like, you know, you've got your boundaries up because you're aware. You know what you're dealing with here. You know, this person's going to try and sleep with you here. They might, might try to have a, have a child with you. This person wants to make babies with you as well. You know, I'm hearing baby trap. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're trying to plot here to, to keep you stuck to them somehow by getting you to have a baby for them or something, you know, so that you don't move on to be with someone else. Yeah. But this is someone that's promiscuous. They're very impulsive. For some of you, you, you may be concerned about their sexual health, catching STDs as well. You know, this person, they may not even... They may not even be focused on self-care. They may have like STDs. So I feel like in this situation, you know, moving forward with this person, I would it would be wise not to rush into intimacy with this person. I feel like, yeah, keep your boundaries up, seven of wands. I feel like you are going to keep your boundaries up. You are going to, yeah, you're protecting your heart here. you got to protect your heart here in this situation. You're dealing with a nasty, this person hasn't changed. But they just don't want to let you go. Yeah, we've got the tower. Yeah, they're going to shake things up here. They're coming in to shake things up with you. They're not going to let you go, though. I feel, you know, this person, when you guys open up, I feel like this is a situation where if you do give this person a chance and uh, you guys start talking, I feel like there is chemistry between you and this person. You may, you may, you know... Be open to uh, starting a new chapter with this person and take the time to get to know each other. I'm getting because I feel like there is chemistry here. There may be a purpose here for this person coming back to you. There's a purpose. There's a reason for this person coming back to you. So maybe you're being tested to see how you handle this situation with this narcissist this time round. I feel like you have learned from the past. You have learned from the past. I feel like uh, this person may have tricked you once but they're not going to trick you again they won't trick you twice you know they may have tricked you once but they, they're not going to trick you twice so I feel like you will show this person that you've changed you know and uh, you want to do things differently yeah so if this person is genuine about you then they'll be willing to compromise and go at your pace here but I really feel like this person is going to lay it on thick they want to sweep you off your feet here to convince you to this person really wants to stop you in your tracks here and look at them differently they want to they want to show you that they've changed they want to show you that they're willing to make the effort moving forward you know they're going to really love bomb you here i'm telling you this person is going to do the most for some of you they may even invest money in your business if you've got a, your own business for some of you you may have like have a creative project high priestess queen of cups yeah, this person, they may want to invest in your creative project here. You know, give you a financial business offer here. Ace of Pentacles, this person may want to work with you. Partner up with you in business. Invest in your business. Yeah, this person's going to do and say whatever it takes here. For some of you, this person may want to invest in you financially as well. You know, they're, they're, they're going to do... This person's going to really do the most to, to get your attention somehow. This person wants to get your attention, get you to look at them, get you to give them a chance here. They're going to do the most here. But I am getting that, you know, the Seven of Swords energy, the Devil energy. Yeah, you need to proceed with caution. Take take things slow. Just use this time to really get to know this person, get more information before you even rush into intimacy with this person. Yeah, before you even rush into intimacy, get more information. We've got to look for a sign. Yeah, this, yeah, look for a sign. Spirit sending you downloads. I feel like this person gets signs from the universe as well when it comes to you. This is why they can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, they're taking action. They are taking action. And we have compromise. Yeah, I feel like it would be wise to compromise in this situation. This person's going to have to compromise with you if they want to get anywhere with you. Yeah, and we have success. 
in the situation so there is success in the situation so that's the messages i hope this helps good luck